What's up guys? It's John Carter from Prominent Performance Coaching. And today we're going to talk about the seated dumbbell, seated, seated barbell shoulder press. Now, this is an older school exercise. It's not done very often. Um, it's a little difficult to set up, which is probably one of the reasons why it's not done very often. Unless you have a seated military press bench, which is in some bodybuilding gyms, but it's very, very less and less that it's actually even a thing. So you should have to set up a rack. So you have to put the weight above your head. Not behind, so you want to angle yourself. So it's pretty much just above. In front is kind of sketchy. So over, that's why you need a spotter for this exercise. So you're going to find your military press grip. You're going to have your shoulder blades pinched. You're going to unrack the weight up in front of you. You're going to keep your elbows in. Coming down to what you actively can control in your motion. You don't want to end up like this, or like this, or like this. Down to the chest, you want to be both nose level, active, solid range of motion, pressing up and over the head, and then coming back down with full control. And then turn your head, flip over, and shoot to the back, and then rock in. So, some keys make sure you have a spotter, make sure you maintain control, not going too low, make sure you hit proper depth for you, coming straight up with full lockout, and shoulder blades pinched against the pad. This is going to be a little bit harder than a regular standing press because you're not able to use any 